Remember last week when I clapped my hands and the packages appeared on the table? Yes. You want to try it? Yes. Okay. So, give me a clap. No, nothing happened. So, let me show you how, okay? So, you grab your hands straight. No, but they have to be straight. And then you, see? Like that. And the box appears. But they have to be straight. Try it again. Let me see. No. Nothing. How about flicking your fingers? Can you flick your fingers? Yes. Okay. Let me show you how first of all. Okay. One, two. See? All right. Now, both your fingers as hard as I can when I tell you to. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> well done. <laughs> High five. <laughs>to another mail day wednesday ladies and gents so we have a few boxes not as many as usual which means it doesn't have to be that long today there's still about i think probably about 60 packages to arrive some of them will be a bit late but now we're going to start opening first one is from alex roland Haribo. Ooh, berries haribo self-addressed envelope dear joe i'd like to thank you for giving me a chance to be part <laughs> no pun intended, of this fantastic experience. I'm really excited to see the end result. I bought my first printer last Christmas. It was a Tronx CX-1. Now I am proud owner of three printers. In this package, I have sent you a few iterations of the part which I have printed. In Repcord Red PLA and Prilin Red PTG. As for slicers, I used Cura, Petir and Slicer. I used the recommended settings. The part sliced with Cura appears to be a different shade than the one sliced with Slicer. It's actually made from the same roll of filament. I would like to thank you for all your informational videos which have helped me through this learning curve. That is 3D printing. Thank you, Joe. Happy making, Alex. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you for more candy. Ooh, Smurfs! <laughs> so this is in Cura and Slicer. These are the same color, but they look like they're a different shade. I'm guessing it's temperature. Because Peggy, when you increase the temperature, kind of becomes a bit more crystally like you know, crystal-like. So that's the effect I'm seeing. So this was done on the Ender 3. was also done on the Ender 3. And it's also done on the Ender 3. Well done. Thank you very much, Alex. Also forgot to mention, Apart from the stickers, I also received my 3DMN branded Magic Goo samples, which I will be sending out um, a sample to, to everyone who sends me a self-addressed envelope, along with a sticker, of course. Next is from Dr. David Light in Florida. Hello, Joseph. I'm writing this letter to you on behalf of my husband, Dr. David Light. I actually took a bit of a pause there, who right now is in the hospital. So I was reading this letter, and instead I'm gonna describe exactly what's happening. Um, this was sent to me by the wife of Dr. David Light. Um, fortunately, he is in the hospital at the moment. Um, he had a bit of a sad back with an illness. Um, it's an illness that I, 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 I don't even like saying the name. Um, I've lost relatives to this illness. Um, says that he's very proud and excited to be a part of this and I thank him for it and I wish him best of luck my prayers are with you and thank you very much dude. have a self-addressed envelope ah oh, Reese's minis I love Reese's and we have the part part number 133 yay Gozo pieces are coming in thank you very much Dr. Light and I wish you a very speedy recovery this is from Alien 3D in Florida Ooh, this is a gorgeous color this is a beautiful color Part number 35. This is gorgeous. Oh, we have a little alien. <laughs> and we have a sticker. I have a self-addressed envelope. Well done. Oh man, that is a really nice red. That's gorgeous. Thank you very much, Alien 3D. Next, we have Australia. JT, I know JT. We talk quite a lot on Twitter. We have the part, part number 59. There's the envelope. Awesome, thank you very much, JT. This is from Robert Buckening. Self-addressed envelope, well done. Hi, Joseph. I got into 3D printing in January when I got my Prusa Mark III. Been watching some of your videos on YouTube and wanted to send you a donation for all you do for the 3D printing world. And since you got those nice new stickers, it's a perfect time to do it. Very true. 
Hope this makes it to you before you run out of stickers, but if not, then do not worry about sending me one. Wish you and your family the best. Robert B. from Long Island, um, New York, USA. P.S. The $2 to cover the stamps for the stickers. There's so much more than $2 there. You, you really didn't have to, but thank you so much. And yes, I definitely, definitely, definitely have stickers available. And Magigu samples as well for that matter. So yeah, I'll be sending a couple your way. Thank you very much, dude. Next is from William Youngers. Malvain KS, is that Kansas? We have a couple of parts. Ooh, these are Gozo parts. A note and a self-addressed envelope. Joe, here is my contribution to the mirror project. I printed two to give you choice of type of white. One is a Maker Geeks PLA Pearl Starship White. The second is an Inland PLA White. I threw in my Maker going for good measure. And these were printed on my recently assembled Forgetech i3 Mega, still dialing it in, getting close. I am a very recent noob, built an FT5 in February 2018 and have been hooked. Enjoy your vlogs, tutorials and makes. Good luck from Kansas, Bill Youngers. Thank you very much, Bill. Let's, let's find the maker coin. Oh, we got ourselves a maker coin. This is actually really awesome. I love when they do a pattern on the back of the maker coin and on the front. This looks epic. Thank you very much, Bill. As for the parts, parts number 134, either will do just fine. They both look very well done. Thank you. This one is from Switzerland. Ooh. Hi, Joe. Greetings from a way too warm Switzerland from a Dutch expat. Love the show. Keep the vlogs coming. I especially like the problems you run into while printing and how you solve them. Or try to. That may sound weird, but I'd rather learn about uh, things to fix and tinker with than yet another review. I started printing beginning of this year with a G-Tech Rostock Delta printer kit. Man, what a mistake that was. Deltas are not for beginners. I fully agree. Especially not shaky deltas without auto bed leveling. Then I ordered a Prusa Mark III, but that took so long to be delivered, I started looking around for a quick and dirty fix for my growing 3D printing fever. So I now have a Dolly Tom's 3D Mark II clone, which I flashed out with a Mark 2.5 upgrade grid and frame from Pusha to gain the rigidity and the awesome magnetic bed and filament sensor. Still cheaper than a full Mark 2.5 kit as the dolly is mostly built with cheap Chinese part. Oh, and I also got an cubic Cassell XL with linear rails, my first working Delta. Somewhere in the kitchen is an Anet A6, but I don't like it much, too noisy, and the second axis blocks a lot. And elsewhere in the house is a Costell clone I'm building from scratch, just to get the full maker vibe. My latest project is a Hypercube Evolution, Corex Y machine from scratch, just because Corex Y looks like a very interesting technology and hey, I wanted a 300 by 300 printer. Conclusion, too many printers, hobby gone wild. <laughs> Good luck with your channel and happy printing. Pauline Middlelink. Yes, a female with tinkering skills. We do exist, and I'm so happy about that. And close, you will find part 31 in dust filament uh, ferrot, fire red. It's awesome to have female makers in a community. Um, I, for one, am definitely trying to, well, all, it, she's almost there to get my daughter into uh, tinkering. She's already into 3D printing. Now it's about making things. Part number 31. Beautifully printed, I might add. Very beautifully printed. That's, that's one way of including a self-addressed envelope. <laughs> Looks like licorice. I don't see a self-addressed envelope, but I see a lot of envelopes. Um, so yeah, I'll have that sorted out. Thank you very much, Pauline. This one is from the UK. Luke Hazelgrove. Got a self-addressed envelope. And I'm guessing a couple of parts. One is very pink. <laughs> These are parts 47. This looks like a polyalchemy elixir kind of pink or red. This looks more like a fire red. Both very nicely printed, I might add. Awesome, but no notes, no worries. Thank you very much, dude. So this is from France Levelin. Self-addressed envelope. Hello Joe, my name is Level in France, aka Left149. I've been watching your videos for quite some time now and really enjoy your content. You do an excellent job explaining things to us and doing your part in keeping the Chinese 3D printer companies in check. <laughs> I was hoping to be part of your mural project, but like my init A8, my printer broke down one to too many times for me. Now I am transforming into what I'm going to call a hyper tube evolution. <laughs> since I'll, it'll be made of square tubing. I hope you like the pun there because I thought it was a punny name. <laughs> 
With the inspiration and help from the many great YouTube 3D printing channels like Hugh, Joel, Tom, Angus and Chuck, just to name a few, I have grown my interest in 3D printing. I have only recently started to use Fusion 360 and use it to edit designs for my needs and even started to make my own designs. Hopefully I can be a part of a future project of yours after my Prusa i3 Mark III gets here to help build the HyperTube. In this box I included some snacks. I had been in a factory where they make the mic and dikes and it's pretty neat how they make them. I also included my Maker coin. I have made it smaller since printing that one in High 5 Blue on the Anet A8 before its final transformation, but after many improvements. Sincerely, Level in France. P.S. I plan on starting to make an InMove robot as well. And if you care to watch some videos I made, check out my channel, username left149. I definitely will be checking out your videos because, well, I am doing an InMove robot as well. <laughs> an awesome maker coin in High Five Blue. Looks very, very nice. And we have, oh. We have spicy Skittles. This is epic. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy these. <laughs> Ooh, tasty cake and Mike and Nike. Oh man, thank you so much, friends. Thank you so, so much, dude. I'll send you a sticker and some magic goo. This is from Joey De Real. Joey the Real, I think he's a patron of mine. Self-addressed envelope. Ooh, these look fancy. These candies. And we have a note. Okay, I know who Joey the Real is. <laughs> hey Joe, thank you for the opportunity to be part of your mural. Such a cool idea. I've been following your channel since Mark to Build videos and the Patreon since it was available. It was a pleasure meeting you at Bay Area Maker Fair. Looking forward to the next one. Love the videos, keep them coming, and thanks for your positive influence in our small 3D printing community. Joey, AKA Dick Chaos. PS, not sure if they have seized chocolates or Malta. They're pretty big over here, enjoy. PSS, the part was printed in Mega Geek's Pearl White Raptor PLA on my original Prusa i3 Mark III in Santa Barbara, California. That's actually a really nice, that's a really nice white. It's very well printed. So, Dick Chaos, thank you very much. Um, Dick Chaos has recently done this lollipop um, model on Thingiverse. I'll show you a picture of it, uh, one that I printed with the uh, Hicktop Duality. Absolutely awesome model. I, I really and truly love it, so I do suggest you try it out. And Joey, thank you very much, dude. Thank you for the part, thank you for the candy, and thank you for your awesome support. We have another Australian, Jason Austin. <laughs> we have the part which is part 137 in white. Oh, Gozo is going to come together. <laughs> we have anti stress balls. Oh, these are so cool. So you have three anti stress balls, uh, one larger than the other. Um, I'm guessing depending on how stressed you are. So this is, oh, man, okay, this is like, oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, and Tim Tams. Oh, we have some original and white Tim Tams. I love how you pack them, dude, really nice. No self-addressed envelope. No worries, I'll sort you out. Thank you very much, Jason. And last but not least, the big one. This is from 3D Printec in Austria. Now 3D Printec has also taken part in the mural. Um, he had also uh, a while back sent me some Hertz um, PEG which was absolutely beautiful. I did a video about him and he decided to well send me a part. Now the thing is parts should take about this much space. So we'll see what's inside. Hi Joe. First of all, let me say thank you for everything that you do. I'm a subscriber since the very early days. If I remember correctly, you were below 1,000 people when I pressed the subscribe button. Congratulations on your awesome makerspace and new home. It looks really cool from what you've showed us. Here's my contribution to your mural, number 117. The white one is printed in Hertz PEG and the other in, uh, is in Extrude Glow X PEG. Technically, it's not white, 
But I thought a glow-in-the-dark part might be a nice addition. You need to check out its glowiness. That's interesting. Also included are some Austrian sweets to enjoy and share with your family. The red, white rum cocos contain alcohol. Mm. <laughs> I really hope that they survive the transport. If not, I'll send them again for Christmas. Best wishes, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Self-addressed envelope, well done. We have some candy. Oh, more wafers. Ooh, ooh, these are, they're on cold. Ooh, they survived, they're still intact. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be having those. We have the parts. Part number 117 and Oh, this is the glow in the dark. This is awesome. I I definitely want to go with a glow in the dark part. I, I really do. I think it would look awesome. Nice thinking. This requires some strength. <laughs> so these wow. These are sample filaments from 3D. These are awesomely packed. These are so cool. There's quite a lot of them. I mean, a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. These are the flexibles. Kyoto Flex. Wicked. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you so much, dude. That is it for today. Um, that was much shorter than usual, which I think is a good thing, uh, at least for now. Thank you to all those who participated. Thank you for the stuff you sent me. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for watching and thank you for being a part of my journey. That is it for today. If you want to send something to the channel, uh, address will be in the video description. Um, Whatever you want to do, just send me a self-addressed envelope so I can send you back a sticker and a Magigoo sample. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys.